this is the Sierra Designs um, section here. We've actually found some area that's kind of more related to what we do. This is the flex capacitor, and I'm hoping to borrow this pack from Chris Tangson in the very near future and try it. Um, but this gentleman here is going to give us a quick rundown on the pack, like a quick preview of it and everything. So this could be quite interesting, um, you know, for the future. Okay, so this gentleman here is going to show us through this pack. Go Fire ahead. away, please, kind sir. No problem. So I'm Damon. I'm from uh, Sierra Designs. So this is a flex capacitor. We do three sizes. We do a 25 to 40 litre, 40 to 60, and a 60 to 75. So the 25 to 40 would be like for short hikes, overnight, day, day pack. Um, if you really want to go light, great. Really kind of like cinches right down. 40, 60 is going to be right for most people. 60, 75 if you're going to do something that's a little bit more expedition. So what it, what's, the, what's the point? So the whole um, concept really of the flex capacitor is the flex means size will change. So it starts at 40 litres when it's all cinched down. And let me show you a different one here. This is a bigger one. So we can expand it out a little bit and you can see that just by opening some of the straps out, you can increase the size of the pack. And that'll go up to, well, this one will go up to 60 litres. But what you're getting, um, so it comes in uh, two sizes. So small, medium, medium, large, and then waist belts, small, medium or medium, large. So you've got some kind of sizes to, to work with. Fit system, this is a brand new one straight out of the packet. So the fit system is super simple because it's relatively fixed. Some really substantial padding, um, at the basic, basic back uh, and lumbar. Plenty of airflow, so you're gonna be well ventilated. Something that people don't realize because you've seen these online, you don't necessarily uh, get a feel for them. I'm not sure if this one do it because I've packed it out quite well, but they articulate. Let me find one. There we go. <clears throat> so you can see that's right, fully okay. articulated. Now I'll use this one because this one's not got as much packing in it. Inside the pack, you get a, a bladder hanger. Now you can take that out and you can relocate it on these loops here on the front of the pack. So if you've got wet gear, you can dry it out there. But I'm not sure if you can see all right, so you, could, so you could take that, so you could take this out yep. and then just put, put wet stuff in there if you wanted to and just leave, Yep. you just know, to dry out on the outside or something. Yeah, so yeah. it just kind of clips in through these little locators here and then you can take it off there, relocate it on the front of there and down the bottom there. All right, okay, and then just, that's clever. Just a good place to put your, store, store your wet stuff. I'm not sure if you can see inside the pack there, but you've got a Y-frame. Yes. And then the hub here, so it's kind of really balances the pack. So it brings the weight right out to the tips of your shoulders. And then that articulation happens because you've got a single spine oops, running down here that sits into a cup in the waist belt. Uh, what else can I tell you? So it's uh, obviously top loading pack. You have small pocket on the top for essentials some very generous yeah though the, 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 these side pockets look really really good i do like a good side pocket to put stuff in that yep. does look good plenty of room for snacks in my my case gps or <laughs> cameras for other people um this one's a smaller one but you've got two good size drinks holders <clears throat> coming back to this they kind of beef up a little bit bigger uh, this one is the 2022 colour, so you've got this sort of fresh, uh, slightly more green versus the older. So is that, is that the smaller one? Is that the, so what size is that? Okay, so that's so 20 to 40. 40. Got you, yeah. And then we, so colours, um, we have the peat, also known as black, bearing blue, also known as blue. And we have this one here, a little bit dirty because this is one I use a lot. Right. Um, and that's birch. Right. So okay. um, no real difference. A lot of people like this because, as you can see from the light, it's fairly translucent. Yeah. And what I personally like is. So is that exactly the same as these, just just a bit older, like the. 
it, no, it's exactly the same, and this is still current. Okay. It's still current, current way. It's, uh, it's one that I just use a lot. Uh, but I really like this, because when I'm storing kit inside, and use dry bags, you can see where you've put everything. Okay, and, yeah. And, and I know everybody loads their pack up, and you know what, where, you put, where your kit is, but yeah. sometimes when you're kind of looking from the outside, you know that whatever you're looking for is down there, and you know where you're putting your hand <coughs> in to grab it. So yeah, so that's the flex capacitor. Really simple. And so can the, and the, these can be adjusted to, to whatever size you need, so you don't have to have it fully open or fully closed, no. you can have it somewhere in between as well if you wanted to. Yeah, and one of the things that I like about it, so if you imagine you're going off on a hike, but you're going to go out for three or four days, you're going to pitch up and you're going to stay in the same location for well, two or three nights, okay? <coughs> You can, <coughs> maybe you've got your tent in there, you take your tent out, but you've got the rest of your kit in the bottom and you're still gonna go out for the day. Right. You can cinch the top of the pack down, leave the lower area open, so it's got everything you need in it. And yes, it looks a little bit kind of distorted, but what it really does is it stops the kit moving around in there. Right, okay, got you. And because of the kind of the central spine, when it's on your back, it really keeps everything kind of well located. And when you're, I mean, real catalog pose, when you're turning around and looking at things up in the, you know, above you, it's really quite ergonomic and it right, really feels you. really natural. So yeah, so there you go, that's the, the flex capacitor. Oh, that's lovely, thank you very much indeed. Pleasure. Dear my good friend, Mr. Poop Deck, there are no, <laughs> oh God, there, there, there are no affiliate links for this pack, so you are, so you're not forced to have to buy it or anything. Um, but there are links below for Amazon things, so you can pop down there and buy your your yacht or your Lamborghini. <laughs> I just thought you might be interested in a salesman's view of this pack, and hopefully, I will get my grubby hands on Chris Tangsen's pack at some point in the future when he can get it down to me. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody.